everybody, it's me Susie. So I woke up, sort of woke up this morning with, um, <laughs> I guess the Lord was just giving me something to be prepared for a message, this message. This is what I heard as I was waking up, and then I wrote this down. Okay, and it came to me in the form of like words to a rap song. <laughs> It's not a song, I don't think, I don't know them all, but I'm sure this, I don't listen to rap music, so if this is a song, I will be really shocked. But here's what I heard. I want to know you, but you don't want to know me. You're all hung up in technology. And that's when I stopped and woke up and wrote it down. Okay, so sure, there could be more I could have added to that and keep going and make a real rap song, turn it into Christian and... And uh, believe me, I don't, I'm not into rap. So um, really, technology is, I believe, what this message is about and what it's doing to, to people, especially the youth, but not, not necessarily only the youth. Many of us, I'm using technology right now that you're watching and listening to, but I'm not using it as a form of worship for the Lord. But the, the technology is being used for kids as a substitute worship for the God of this world. You're worshiping and glued to your technology of ungodly things. And you're never satisfied with the technology you have. You're, you're just wrapped up in technology and the coolness of it. And then what it offers you through the technology is... It's so ungodly. Of course you can get b biblical truth on there too now. But until um, <laughs> until the, the tribulation begins and the rapture of the church happens before that, you ha you'll still have access to the word of God through there. Thank God for those on YouTube and um, possibly, and even Facebook, I guess, which I don't use. You know, there is people using technology to go against the evil darkness of this world because we fight not against flesh and blood but against uh, powers of principalities and rulers of darkness and evil. There's so much evil out there. So thank God that we who love Jesus are using technology for the greater good of God, for to serve the Lord for His purpose and to help find the lost sheep out there through technology who may not have intentionally meant to see these kind of videos, but yet the Lord somehow directed them to find videos that they need to hear. And um, you just we just pray that many people will seek the Lord and stumble on videos that share the gospel of Jesus Christ instead of uh, using technology to feed off of the God of this world, little g, the God of this world, Satan, who comes to steal, kill, and destroy, Satan also known as the devil, the fallen angel from heaven named Lucifer. Don't be deceived. TV is one of the greatest tools that has been used since it began to deceive the minds of many. And now, though I don't watch TV anymore, I, I hear there is a television program that uses the name Lucifer and t teaches that he is a beautiful person and blah, blah, blah. I don't know. I don't know the details of it. But there's so much evil being indoctrined into the minds of people who are um, ignorant to the truth. But the truth is the word of God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life, and no man comes to the Father but by me. If you want the truth, go to the word of God for the truth. Instead of the technology and the, the devices of man that are used to lure you into the temptations of the devil, to please the devil, the God of this world, to have you following him in his ways and to keep you focused on, on the things of this world. When Jesus said, love not the things of this world, love, love not the world, nor the things of this world. For if you love the world and the things of this world, the love of the Father is not in you. And what else does the Bible teach us? The Bible teaches us that um, beautiful are the feet of those that bring good news. The good news is the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let me find that scripture. <laughs> so let's start with Romans chapter 10, verse, starting in verse 9. 
this is how you get saved, how you get born again. And it is not of the God of this world. This is of the true God, the Son of God, Jesus Christ, who is God in the flesh. And we are told through um, the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 9, that if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in thy heart that God has raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Verse 13 we go to, For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. And verse 14 and 15, how then shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? 15. How shall they preach except they be sent? As it is written, How beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. So, Thank God for preachers of the gospel. Jesus Christ sent people out into the world, all over the world, to share his gospel truth. Those who are obedient to the word of God, that understand that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life, and that no man can come to the Father but by him. These days that we are living in are filled with evil, and if you notice, technology is, is a big part of it, if not most of it. Look at it. This is leftover technology. What good is it now? It's been upgraded. These are just old pieces of technology that have no use anymore. Okay, I can still use this old one so far. It's a tangled up mess. There is no use for this stuff. It has no purpose and no future anymore because it's old and it's outdated and nobody wants it anymore. Oh, here's one I can still use. Nope. You can still use some of it, but it doesn't. Up, it's not updated. So what do they do? Satan keeps you wanting more and the newest and latest versions of it all. And all you're stuck with is all these hundreds and hundreds of dollars you've spent. Worthless. This is just a piece, a little touch of what I've spent, what I've had. <sighs> Do you get it? It adds up to nothing. It brings you no hope. All it does is occupy your time and distract you from wanting to know what's really true, what really is everlasting for your, for your, your, your soul. What it, what it is, is the Word of God. And the Word of God can be found if you use the technology to get to it. But while you're doing that, what, what pops up on the side? Oh, you'll get pop-ups of real good stuff, but you're going to get the devil in on it too. Because he's not going to just ignore that you, you're you searching out the truth and that you, you, you know that there's something better out there. When his name is Jesus, as soon as he knows that you're seeking the Lord... And that you're getting interested in what's what Jesus is all about, he's going to distract you through these devices and throw pop-ups on the on the sideline of what you're watching if it's the truth. On my video you're watching right now, there's probably pop-ups on the side that are not of God. So be careful where you put your attention. If you want to focus on the truth, go to Jesus. Turn to Jesus. Call upon the name of the Lord and be saved. Okay, as Paul wrote in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, let's read what he said about the gospel. Thank God for Paul. Thank God that Jesus Christ called Paul to share the, the gospel truth about what, what salvation is all about. Paul was an incredible man of God, and we are so grateful for him and what he's taught us through the Holy Word of God. And I rebuke all of those false teachings out there and those false teachers out there who are trying to say that uh, the doctrines of Paul should be removed from the Bible. No, no, no. That was, he was sent by Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, 1 Corinthians 15, verse 1. Moreover, moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I preached unto you, which also ye have received, and wherein ye stand. 
which also ye are saved, if ye keep in memory what I preached unto you, unless you have believed in vain. Verse 3. For I delivered unto you first of all that which I also received, how that Christ died for our sins according to the scriptures, and he was buried, and that he rose again the third day according to the scriptures. And he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve, and after that he was seen above five hundred brethren at once, of whom the greater part remain unto this present, which means there were more, but some are fallen asleep. So, the gospel of Jesus Christ is going to go forth until the day of redemption. And that is when the rapture happens, or when you take your last breath, if you are redeemed by Christ. You'll either go to heaven or hell, depending on if you have chosen to believe in Jesus or not. Please surrender to Jesus. The gospel of Jesus Christ will set you free, and, be, and you will be free indeed. Okay, I thought I was on recording and I've been paused speaking and I don't know where I left off. So um, if I did not read you 1 Corinthians chapter 15 verses 1 through maybe 7 or 8, um, go read that because I don't know if I just read it or not. But uh, please don't let technology take you away from the Word of God. If you're going to get on there for technology, let it be for the purpose of God's will for you. For the God loves you so much, He wishes that none would perish. And He sent His one and only Son, Jesus, that whosoever shall believeth in Him shall not perish, but have everlasting life. There is only life through Jesus. There's no life through religion. There's no life through dead man's prayers, which is religious. Religion leads you only to a dead end. There is no hope that comes out of religion. I'm speaking to many people out there that don't want to hear that. Because, but trust me, I've been in religion for 40 years. And religion got me nowhere but questioning, questioning, questioning. Why this? Why that? And I had no interest in it until I finally understand the truth now. I, I know why I wasn't interested in it, because Jesus knew that I was one of His. He knew that I would come out of religion. I'm praying that you who are listening that are of a, a religious matter right now, a religious belief right now, I should say, and that you're putting your faith and trust in false gods of religion and, and false teachings of religion, which only is the teachings uh, and the deeds of doctrines, deeds and doctrines of man, which Jesus said, I hate in Revelation chapter 2 and I believe 15. Um, I'm sorry, Revelation chapter 2, verse, I believe, 5 or 6, and verse 15 of chapter 2. God hates religion, the deeds and doctrines and teachings of man, which go against the word of God. They want you to worship idols. They want you to pray man-made prayers. They want you to uh, worship other men that want to be seen in the synagogues and sit in high places. Read Revelation chapter 18, chapter 17 and 18, and, and see if, you, if that doesn't tell you of a, a, a super religion out there. You need to call on Jesus. All you need is Jesus for the answers you seek. Jesus is the only way to get to God. Jesus is the one who went to the cross and died for your sins and mine and the sins of all the world. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord to be saved. Surrender to Jesus. Don't let technology lead you astray by following the ways of the devil, the God of this world. He wants you to be focusing your attention and being in love with all the technology, especially the newer it gets. He wants you to toss away your old technology and go for the newer and better, supposedly, technology, which costs you a bundle of money. The love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money is those who are producing all this technology, leading you astray, that are being led by the devil himself. They don't serve a greater purpose of God by, by producing all this wonderful technology. No, the root of all evil is the love of money. Please surrender it all to Jesus. If you're going to use your money for tech and, and buy technology, please, please use it for, for the glory of God. Don't let the technology distract you from the truth. As I woke up this morning again, the Lord is telling you, I want to know you, but you don't want to know me. You're too wrapped up 
in technology. Let go of this world. Let go of everything you've previously known about false gods that were led, leading you nowhere but down. Leading you nowhere but to remain in your sin and to stay with an unrepented dark heart. Repent from what you've always known. If you don't know Jesus, you don't know what you're missing. You're missing. You're missing an eternal path that leads you to heaven. Why is the path that leads to destruction? And many there will be that go therein. Don't you see that? That's where technology is leading. And all the ways of this world are leading you down. That wide path that leads to destruction, which is the, the lake of fire, the burning fires of hell for all of eternity. But narrow, narrow is the path to follow Jesus through the gates of heaven. And very few there be that go therein. Please defeat this this evil path of the devil. Step over to the narrow path. Not many of you are going to do this. Not many of you are willing. Instead, many of you are telling others to stay away from videos like mine and that in in that not to believe us but to to just mock us and you're telling others leading others astray along with you and your ideas and you've created an audience to follow you instead of following the truth. Woe unto you. Woe unto you. As the word of God, again, I'll go back to the, what, what the Bible says about those who share the truth, the gospel of Jesus Christ. What the Bible says about our beautiful are the feet of those that spread the word of God. Romans 10 verse 15, and how shall they preach except they be sent? We are sent by God to share the gospel truth of Jesus Christ. As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that preach the gospel of peace and bring, bring glad tidings of good things. Isaiah 57, I'm sorry, 52, 7. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him that bringeth good tidings, that publisheth peace, that bringeth, that, uh, bringeth good tidings of good, that publish salvation, that saith unto Zion, thy God reigneth. What I'm saying is all you need is Jesus. And you can still repent if that is you who's going against the true gospel truth of Jesus Christ that we're sharing here on YouTube. Oh, I know there's many false preachings and teachings on YouTube. I know that. I avoid them myself. We need discernment. We need to love one, one another, brothers and sisters in Christ. We need to shine the light on those who don't know the truth and let them be set free. Jesus came to save you. Jesus came to save me. He came to save the whole world through what he did for us on the cross. Everything you seek is found at the cross of Jesus Christ. Surrender to Jesus and you will find that peace that surpasses all understanding. God bless you all and God bless your beautiful feet who bring good tidings of the good news of Jesus Christ.